there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, there is a couple of things that I wanted to show you, but one, you can make a really simple card and it kind of doesn't have to look super simple. They still look gorgeous. Also, I just wanted to show you a little bit about ink blending and how that can really bring a solid image to life. So to me, the stamp set that I'm going to be using today is the Leaf Canopy stamp set. And to me, this is like one of those stamps that I look at and I see a whole heap of options. And that is what I think about when I'm going to purchase a stamp set. And I definitely want to have lots of ideas in mind. And this one really is fun and it is very basic. And I don't get me wrong, I think that there are so many foliage stamp sets out there that I'm sure that you probably have one that is going to work for this technique and I just kind of like the fact that it's got the solid leaves kind of a larger bunch and then a smaller bunch and then the outlines as well I'm going to use some later gator remember me and midnight snack and these are three colors from the Simon Hurley dye ink range however any inks that you have are going to work for this technique today I'm obviously going to be stamping so ideally they're going to be good stamping inks that you use but I am really experimenting here. So this is the later gator color. Then I do have some finger dobbers, which I am going to come in and add some of the ink to the stems. And I'm just going to add it kind of at the kind of base of all the leaves. So over the whole stamp, but at the base of most of the leaves. And by using the finger dobbers, I get that really soft kind of um, graduated ombre look. And it doesn't look like I've just stamped boldly on top of the leaf. So I am going to keep going. I'm experimenting with the colors because at this point I really didn't know which uh, kind of combo of colors I wanted to use. So this is the Remember Me color. It's just a kind of medium blue. And then I'm going to come in with the green for this one, the later gator color, and go on top of that. So this is just the reverse of what I have stamped above it. So instead of putting later gator first and then Remember Me second, I'm putting Remember Me first first and then later gator on second and again I get a really nice little ombre look I as I said I'm just going to stamp out a few of these and because I didn't know at the moment I knew I wanted to make sort of blue bluish greeny leaves for this one but I wasn't sure if I wanted to go super blue or super green so I'm just having a mix and just enjoying having a little bit of a play it does help a lot if you have a stamp platform especially for creating and kind of adding a little bit of dimension to your solid stamped images and I guess to me these almost look like they are layering stamps like you perhaps had a secondary stamp that you stamped on top of it and got that nice little bit of uh, dimension in there but really we're just using the same one and using some finger dobbers. I find finger dobbers easier here to add in the ink because it gives a much smoother result um, rather than just using my ink pads but either either. Here are all the images that I kind of had a play around with. Some of these are the Remember Me color with the Midnight Snack. I really like those blue ones. I, I like those a lot. Um, and I guess that's kind of what I was going for. Just something a little bit different other than the greens. But I had a good little play and this is what I came out with. Now a couple of other cool things in these sets. These leaves are absolutely gorgeous but I'm going to take it one level further. As I said this is quite a simple card but we're going to do lots of little things to kind of just keep judging it up a little bit so again another cool thing about the stamp set is that it has the outline so obviously you could stamp these completely separately and this would be really fun for water coloring and all those sorts of fabulous things but for this one i am just going to layer them up one on top of the other now again you could definitely use a stamp platform for this that would work fine but often my preference is to use an acrylic block and that's what I'm going to use today and it works out pretty perfectly fine. Now if you don't have um, the matching outline or anything to go with your stamp sets then I suggest a really good option would be to get one of the embossing pens and you can just draw around the outline of your images with these leaf ones. You could even give them some veins and things. So many options. And if you don't think you can go neatly around the outlines, then kind of make it messy on purpose and a little bit kind of here, there and everywhere. And that will look really artistic as well. So anything is going to work here. I do have the outline stamp, so I'm going to use it. And I kind of wasn't sure whether I really wanted to go really off center with these, but I actually was aiming to stay fairly on center. 
and I think I lined them up pretty well, bearing in mind that I have a whole lot of lighting and camera equi equipment above my head when I am filming, so I can't even get my head kind of over top of all of these without giving you guys a great view of my head. So um, I did my best with what I could kind of see without having to give you guys a really good look at the back of my head. And as I said, I think I did okay. The gold looks absolutely gorgeous around the outline of these. Again, we're just kind of stepping it up a tiny little bit, and I'm going to go through and do that to all of these leaves here. I start off by using my anti-static powder bag, then I'm going to dip it into the Versamark sticky embossing ink and then pop it down on top of my leaves. Now, as I said, I think I've said this in previous videos, I have definitely tried out a whole lot of embossing, uh, sticky embossing inks and things, and I always come back to the Versamark one. It's a question that I get asked often because it is a little bit more expensive than some of the others on the market. However, I have definitely spent my fair share and I have come back to this one because it is simply the best one that I have used and embossing is one of those things that I don't need to add any more frustration to my card making so for me it is worth it and it is also worth getting a re-inker for the Versamark ink pad and that way it will last you a really long time. So I am adding gold embossing here but again silver embossing I think even copper embossing would look absolutely gorgeous and then I did something that I hardly ever do and that is I bought the coordinating dies to go with these leaves. To me, I kind of see this like an investment piece and I must admit I've been looking for kind of this type of stamp set for a long time and I can't imagine myself fussy cutting out in between all those leaves. If you watch my channel, you know that I do quite a bit of fussy cutting. I'm very selective about what I choose to fussy cut, but I felt like with these leaves, it was just too tricky for me. And again, when I'm spending this kind of money, I really want to make sure I get value for money. And that means I'm going to use it a lot. So I did invest in the coordinating dies. Again, if you have a kind of simpler design for your foliage, then you might just be able to cut it out perfectly. Or what you could also do is stamp this directly down onto your card base and you could have a gorgeous one layer card without having to worry about any die cutting at all. But anyway, I'm going to run these through my die cutting machine. I'm kind of sparing you guys some of the steps. I'm going through this a little bit quicker, even though I did the exact same process for all of these leaves. So I gently take off the low tack tape and pop out all those little bits that die cut at as well. And then this is a really gorgeous leaf and branch. I am glad that I purchased this set. I've already been playing with it a lot. And I'm just deciding whether I wanted to have a portrait or a landscape card design today. And I decided to go with landscape, so that's um, side on kind of thing. And this is going to be a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And I'm going to use the stamp set that says, happy a teeny weeny weeny little bit late birthday. <laughs> because occasionally I forget or it just doesn't quite make it in time. And this is the perfect sentiment. It kind of made me laugh when I saw it. So um, this one I'm going to pop straight in the middle. And just to keep the color scheme sort of very similar, I'm using the same Midnight Snack uh, that I used to do some of the inside of the leaves. And I'm going to stamp that down here on my card base. And I stamped it out once. And then just to get a really nice darker impression, I did end up stamping it a couple of times. But one would have been perfectly fine if I wanted the lighter one, but I just wanted it nice and dark. You could also just use um, a black crisp ink here, like the VersaFine Onyx Black ink. That would look really nice too. Or even perhaps the greens. But at this point, I knew I was going to be kind of angling towards using the blues rather than the greens. So I did far more leaves than I possibly need to do, but I really was just having fun. And that in itself makes me really happy um, because when I'm using a stamp set that I love, it definitely makes it worthwhile as well spending that money on it. So I was having a whole lot of fun. I stamped more than I need and I've just popped these in a little pile and either my daughter or I will use these up in some card making very soon. But anyway, I am just going to pop these all around the outside. Even though they are exactly the same stamp, I want to make sure I'm using different parts of the foliage just so that it doesn't look like I've stamped the exact same thing over and over again. 
So I am going to pop these up on a little bit of foam tape. Luckily on the back of these leaves there is plenty of room for kind of bigger pieces. So this didn't take me a whole lot of time um, and it was not super fiddly at all because that is definitely something else I consider when I am popping up things onto foam tape. And I just want to kind of frame that sentiment as nice as I can. And you can see that I've chosen to go with more of the blues. So I think I both of these are stamped out in the Remember Me colour. And then the ones that have the green tint have the later gator um, as the second layer on top and the other ones have the midnight snack as their second layer their ombre color on top so even with just one stamp set we were able to kind of create create a little bit of dimension and not having them look just like a solid stamp I think the gold outline also helps with that a lot but as I said you could use almost any foliage for the style of card and it would look really nice I am just cutting off all the extra pieces around the outside because I have gone to the effort of stamping them so I don't want to waste them so I'm kind of carefully cutting them and keeping the scraps from the side as big as I can because I'm going to fill in some gaps as well. Um, this cut at the moment looks a little bit too bare in a couple of places so I'm just going to fill in a little bit. Instead of using a whole nother branch I would rather just use the bits that I am cutting off and kind of save those. So I am snipping through these with my long Tim Holtz scissors. I really do like these big long scissors for uh, cutting down the edges of cards and things and I also cut out sentiments using them. It gives a really nice long reach so I would also recommend a really good long bladed scissor. Now here's the part where I'm just going to kind of put in little bits and pieces, little extra leaves and most of these have some foam on the back of them already which I did before, before I cut them off. So I'm able to just kind of put those little extra bits in and then again cut them neatly so that they are um, nice and even with the base of the card. And then again it's up to kind of finishing touches so I do really like this as is and when I move it in the light you can see the gorgeous gold but I am going to add a few little Nouveau drops in there. And and this is just a pale gold color anything that you have like this is going to work well even some little iridescent gems would look really good or iridescent sequins some white drops or even some blues and greens anything you have is going to look really good you could also use some enamel dots or anything that you have in your stash that can just kind of fill in those extra little bits and add and provide a little bit more detail I hope you've enjoyed this video where we used just that solid stamped and stamped it out a couple of times to create a little bit more dimension and not quite such a flat stamp and also keeping it pretty simple just by using that foliage to create a border around our sentiment. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if this is something you enjoyed. I have a whole lot of videos on my channel in card making. And as usual, any products that I've used in this video that are still available to purchase, sometimes they have been discontinued, but if they're available, I will leave the links to them down in the description box below. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.